It's done! We will breed them! In 556! Breeder! Hey guys, good day to us once again and you're here back at Dexter's World Channel. This is our first video for 2019 and many have asked, what can we expect from this channel Dexter's World? Well, guys, you will expect a lot of breeding techniques and methods on different types of fish and that's the promise that I can give you. If you will subscribe to our channel, you will learn more about fish, more about birds, ducks, and other domestic animals. So I invite you to please, if you haven't yet subscribed, click that notification bell and subscribe to our channel. So what we're gonna do today is to breed our Kohako Swordtail. Well, this Kohako Swordtail can be mixed with other fish like Angelfish, Guppies, Danios, Tetras, and all these live bearer fish. And they are hardy fish. But the question is, how to breed them? Well, many of my friends asked me because years and years they've been longing to breed their Kohako Swordtail but they failed. Well, today we will give the solution to that problem. Unlike other fish like mollies, this Kohako Swordtail is really very difficult to breed. But if you know the techniques, well, it is not that difficult. It's so easy. I will show you the method and we will do some iron works today. We will go to the shop and fabricate a box for these breeders. Come on, let's go! have completed our frame for our breathing net and uh, I'd like to thank this guy Dolly for helping us and if you are here in Sambuanga City you can just pass by if you have problems with your stainless work railings or even motorcycles you can just come here and avail of the services of Dolly stainless works so thank you guys and we will proceed and we will put the net for our Kohako Surte Guys, we have completed our fabrication of this metal frame. I'm using this net and this iron frame to get maximum production of our Kohako Sorteil. You know, if you're breeding Kohako and you are not using this method, it's really very hard to collect babies because the babies will be immediately eaten by other sorties, by the parents themselves. So by the use of this method, we can have a massive production. But before we gonna make this one, we will put this net, but before we will put this net, we will paint this with anti-rust. Okay, so this is it. This anti-rust will help the metal protected by corrosion since this will be submerged in the water so we need some anti-rust to have a longer and stronger service you can also use another material so long as the principle is there the principle is that when the moment the mother Sorte gives birth. The babies can immediately go out 
of the net to save his life. So we have done painting this frame, so we're gonna affix now this net. Okay, watch this out. Okay. Have a small cut here. So as simple as this one. Okay, you see that? A bit short over here. But it's all right. Guys, we have almost done covering this frame with net. And I am excited to put now our breeder Ohako Sortail. I have prepared a pond over there with an old water so maybe a little later we can already put the breeders here inside so this is exciting come on please watch as we are going to do these things maybe 20 minutes later the last last stitch okay guys and we are going to paste this one in the tank that we have prepared for the kohako sir tail okay yes it's done and we will put this one over there okay come on let's go to the fish tank of the Kohaku Fudge. Just this. Wow. This is it. So this is it guys. We have already showed you how to make this net and this time we're putting this in this big tank and we're going to trap the breeder Kohaku Sorte so that they cannot eat their babies okay so we're gonna put now the breeders we will get this from the aquarium come on they are here these are the female Kohakos well I place also some male Kohakos here inside and we will get them Many of them have given birth already here inside but the babies will just be immediately consumed by them. I don't know what happened to this fish. They really love to eat their babies. Some people will breed this one by just means of putting too many plants but for me it's not 100% accurate. Well, forgive me for this net. This is dirty net. Wow, you take Kohakos. So we need to acclimatize them for them to adjust this more cooler water. Because this is a bigger tank and the water is deep so we expect that the temperature in the aquarium is not the same with the temperature of this water so we're gonna acclimatize them for at least 20 minutes okay
This is the only way that we can massively produce babies. And I have tried already other method by using plants. You have to put many plants in your breeding tank, but still they can consume 25 or even 50% of their babies. We have acclimated them for the period of 30 minutes, so we will release them one by one. We will count how many breeders do we have. Okay, let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, 50, 54, 55, 56 breeder Kohako and tomorrow we have another batch and we will put them here this net is estimated to accommodate around 200 breeders in this kind of setup I also used Indian almond tree and take note this water is really a weak old water please refrain from putting your fish in the new water we have always to bear in mind that whenever we will transfer fish we will transfer them in an old stock water so this is all that we can share happy new year this is our first video for 2019 and I hope you will subscribe and hit that notification bell continue to like and share videos and we will promise you that you will learn many things out of this channel thank you and happy new year 2019